Mike Reed in the studio, and with me today is Stephanie Shiro from the United Way of Jackson County. Uh, you head up the Volunteer Center, I understand. Yes. Well, that's uh, admirable. Oh, uh, that's, I bet it's a lot of work. Yes, a yeah. lot of fun, though. Good, yeah. <laughs> good. Well, it's it's summertime. People are getting outside, enjoying the warm weather. And uh, United Way is offering people something to do in between picnics, bike rides, and the like, and that's volunteering. Stephanie, tell us why volunteering is so important in our community. Well, there's a lot of reasons why volunteering is important. Um, I think the biggest one for me is that when people are out in their community, they feel a sense of ownership, and they feel like, okay, I'm doing something that's going to influence my neighbors, and, you know, this is where I live, work, and play, and you feel a sense of connection with that. Uh -huh. um, there's also a lot of things, like, health-wise, it helps people manage their stress. And so, you know, summer is a time people really kicking up their fitness and doing things outside. And so this is kind of the flip side of that, your mental health. Um, it can help you deal with stress, deal with depression, um, because you get that sense of, okay, I'm doing something good, and I'm giving back to, to people. So Right. You know, uh, I don't want to get too deep here, but at the subatomic level, we're all connected to one another. So what yes. we do to others, we're doing to ourselves. You or what it. we do for others, yes. we're doing for ourselves. Yes. Okay. How does a United Way's Volunteer Center help people get involved as volunteers? Yeah, so our Volunteer Center is basically an online database of volunteer opportunities. And so organizations throughout Jackson County can go on and post volunteer opportunities. And then community members can go on and register and sign up for those volunteer opportunities right online. So the United Way, um, we're just like the conduit between the organizations and the people, and we just just make sure that you know people are finding things they like that organizations are updating their opportunities um, so it's just a really easy way to find out what's going on so through the magic of computers yes. uh, you're able to to match people's talents and so on to opportunities yeah. where they will fit well yep wow that's that's great so what are some of the uh, opportunities currently available we have a lot of opportunities available right now that are obviously for summer. So um, one of the big things we have is gardening. Um, oh. The YMCA store camp, as well as Youth Haven Ranch, I mean, they have like hundreds of acres. And so they are always um, happy to have people come out and maintain their flowers and um, pick good. up sticks. You know, we've had some rain. And so stuff like that gets taken care of. Uh -huh. um, we also have two events that... Um, they use volunteers for, which is the Amazing Race, um, which is sponsored by Thinking Real Estate. Oh. Um, and they actually use volunteers because the people participating go have to go to all these different stations. So they have volunteers that actually manage the station. So that's a really fun one. Um, we also have a lot of stuff for the Hot Air Jubilee. They always have volunteers that help with like their hospitality tent, help with their kids. Um, they even have um, volunteers that help the balloon crews, ah. um, which you have to commit to the whole weekend. So that's kind of a bigger commitment, but it is a lot of fun. And that's just next weekend. I know. It's coming up really quick. Yeah. Wow. And the, the Amazing Race is in August. So they're all definite fun summer activities. Great. Yeah. Great. So uh, do you get feedback from your volunteers? What do you hear back from folks? I think the biggest thing that I hear back is that they met new people um, that in other contexts they would have never met before. Mm -hmm. um, and I also hear, actually surprisingly a lot, I hear people say like, oh, I never knew what this organization did. I thought they did this one thing. Uh -huh. And look at all the different things that they're doing. So right. they're learning about the organization they're helping. Learning about their own community. Yep. yep. Wonderful. So... Um, Volunteering, of course, isn't limited to summer. Does the Volunteer Center offer opportunities at other times of the year? Yeah, our Volunteer Center, it's really nice because we have things that occur, you know, weekly, like mentoring. Oh. Um, and then you're also able to see things like the um, Hot Air Jubilee that happened just once a year. So we have things that are, you know, heavier commitments that are all year round. And we also are able to show special events. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So uh, is there an age limit for volunteers? You know, that really depends on the opportunity. Ah. Um, 
Well, that makes sense. Which which makes sense. I think that one of the biggest things that we encourage for younger people um, or families to get them starting is a lot of the gardening things mm-hmm. um, because it's something you can do with a family. You don't have to have you know liability to work with animals or to be doing anything like that. Um, so that's one of the big things. And then another of the big things is um, having younger people go and. Um, visit with residents at like Jackson County Medical Care or Southern Care Hospice because those people don't typically get to see kids a lot. And so they're very open to, if you play an instrument, if you sing, if you want to play games with the residents, they're always like, bring, you know, bring the kids in because the residents just really love that time. Very good. Very good. So what would you say is the most important thing you want people to know about being a volunteer? I would say, I guess to encourage people to volunteer that it's it's fun and it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to feel like a chore. Um, and we have so many awesome organizations in Jackson. There, you should be able to find something that you can be passionate about, and they're going to value your time. Sure, and it's going to be fun. Uh huh. So, very good. Yeah. So now the big question. How do people get a hold of or get in touch with the Volunteer Center? Yeah, so the easiest way is to go to volunteer.uwjackson.org, and that will take you straight to the site. If you can't remember all that, you can just go to our normal website, um, uwjackson.org, and um, there's a tab for volunteering right on there. Very good. And that gets you into the the big computer database. and yeah. That's just fascinating to me, <laughs> serving serving the community better yeah. through modern technology. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> Is there anything that you can think of that I didn't think to ask? Well, I just I know last time we were here, we talked about our boat race. Oh, so yes. I just wanted to remind you and everyone that it's coming up um, September 11th at Cascades. The Cardboard starting, Boats. Car, what floats your cardboard boat race? And speaking of volunteers, we would love to have anyone volunteer. Um, we have people help with our parking, and we have people help with um, getting the boats in the water and out of the water uh-huh. um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun and so. when's the dates on that again? it is September 11th which is a Friday and it's the starting gun is at four o'clock very good yep okay so that's uh, another opportunity to get involved yes. in the community yep very good Stephanie I really appreciate your coming in and speaking with no me problem. today uh, it 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 makes my day to be able to speak to someone face to face. I really oh, yeah. like that. A lot of times I'm on the phone talking right. with people, and that's fine. But to see another smiling face oh, across thanks. from mine is, <laughs> is a wonderful thing. Once again, this is Mike Reed in the studio, and I've been speaking with Stephanie Shiro, who heads up the Volunteer Center at the United Way of Jackson County.